Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this baking video. Today, I wanted to share with you this chocolate crinkles recipe. I'm just going to show you how to make them shaped as Mickey Mouse. I found the recipe online. It tastes amazing. For the recipe, you need butter. And I'm using unsalted butter at room temperature. And some bitter or semi-sweet chocolate. I do prefer the bitter sweet because I think it gives more depth to the taste and try to choose a uh, good quality chocolate because it does make a difference in the taste of your dessert and you're going to just melt those two using a microwave or a double boiler as I'm doing right now once those two are melted you're just going to remove them from your stove and put them aside on your mixing bowl you're going to be adding eggs and to that some granulated sugar Mix for about 3 to 5 minutes or until you see your ingredients light and fluffy and pale. Then I'm going to be adding some vanilla and make sure you're working with a good quality vanilla because it does make a difference in the taste. Mix, mix, mix until everything is just incorporated. We're just going to add the chocolate and the butter melted here. Pretty much just again beat until everything is just incorporated. Here is where your kitchen will start smelling really good. Place that mixture apart and here I'm just randomly saying hi. Now as far as for dry ingredients, you're going to add all-purpose flour, some salt and some baking powder. And then I'm just going to be using my whisk to mix everything pretty much. You want to make sure you take your time when you're mixing this so all your ingredients will go evenly throughout all your mixture. And now it's the time to add my dry ingredients with my, at this point, wet ingredients and just mix that just until the mixture is um, incorporated. You don't want to over mix it because then you're going to have a really dense dessert and we don't want that. That, that's far as for the main recipe goes. Again, the original recipe I'm just going to link below so you can check it out if you want to. But I'm just going to divide my uh, the whole bunch into two different like plates. And in one, I'm just going to be adding a handful of nuts because I just wanted to have like that flavor on the dessert. You can leave this part away if you want to. Then I'm just going to let my mixture chill for a bit. My mixture with nuts and my mixture with no nuts at all. Place it on a plate, add some uh, clean pack on top so I can put it in the fridge. So I just let it chill for a bit. Okay, my mixture is now uh, chilled and, and it hardened. So I'm just going to grab my um, ice cream scoop and I'm just going to make balls. And I'm just going to place those on my plate. That is the face of my Mickey Mouse. And as far as for the ears, I'm just going to grab another like ice cream scoop thingy. And I'm just going to cut that part into two pieces. So with each piece, I'm going to make a circle. These are supposed to be the ears. And then I'm just going to attach them to the face. And I'm just going to be using the heat of my fingers to kind of like smooth the whole thing and just attach those two. Now, I would highly suggest you I didn't do it because I didn't know I was working as I go. For next time, I'm going to be adding a piece of parchment paper on the bottom part so I can work over it. It's going to be much easier to move around my Mickey Mouse because I didn't do that uh, it got kind of like sticky to the plate and this is how I removed it. It was a bit of a challenge for me to just, you know, keep the shape and just uh, pick the whole thing. I didn't want my pieces to separate or just to fall apart as I was removing it. The final step is going to be using or covering my Mickey Mouse with some powder sugar. It doesn't have to be like one cup exactly, but it's better to have more and have leftovers than to run out of a, a certain ingredient that is important as you are cooking or baking. At least that's what I think. And then I'm just going to cover the whole thing using my fingers, my hands uh, to remove it and just to finally bake it. I'm just going to use the same thing that I did before. And yeah, that goes to the oven. The original recipe, they baked this for about 8 to 10 minutes, but I believe my shape is a bit too big for that, so I just baked it for about 15 minutes, but just keeping an eye on it, especially because every oven is different. And then you just let them cool, but overall they are delicious. I just wanted to share how they uh, look like inside once they are baked. So I hope you like it. Again, I'm not working with my own recipe, but I just wanted to try a different shape and adding my own twist to it. And remember that you can go for any shape that you like. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and share it. I hope you like it. Give it a try. They are delicious, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.